Hey everybody, this is Sister Gloria, and y'all, it's late. A lot of y'all probably gone to bed, but to God be the glory. Father, we just want to thank you, Lord God, because you, you are a good God, loving God, long-suffering. And Lord, we thank you for being able to share a word with your people on tonight. God, we ask you to open up our hearts, Father God, to receive your word. And Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, not only do we receive it, but Lord, that we take and apply it to our lives, God, so that we may live and so we can go and help somebody else. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm going to be reading from 1 um, Samuel 15. I'm just going to read a first, um, a few verses of um, this chapter. I'll be reading from the Amplified Version. And it says, Samuel said to Saul, the Lord sent me to anoint you king over his people Israel. Now listen and pay close attention to the words of the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts army, I will punish Amalek for what he did to Israel how he set himself against him on the way when Israel came up from Egypt. Now go and strike Amalek and completely destroy everything that they have. Do not spare them, but kill both man and woman, child and infant, ox and sheep, camel and donkey. So Saul summoned the people and numbered them at Telem. 200,000 foot soldiers and 10,000 men of Judah. Saul came to the city of Amalek and set an ambush in the valley. Saul said to the Kenites, go, lead, go down from the Amalekites so that I do not destroy you along with them. For you showed kindness to all the Israelites when they went up from Egypt. So the Kenites departed from among the Amalekites. Saul defeated the Amalekites from Havilah as far as Shore, which is east of Egypt. He captured Agag, the king of the Amalekites, alive, though he totally destroyed all the rest of the people with the sword. Saul and the people spared Agag and the best of the sheep, the oxen, the fatlings, the lambs, and everything that was good, and they were not willing to destroy them entirely, but everything that was undesirable or worthless, they destroyed completely. Hey, y'all, I'm reading this because I remember some years ago, this prophet prophesied to me, and he told me, he said, take no prisoners. And of course, I didn't know what that meant, but the spirit of the living God brought it back to my remembrance. And this has been over 10 years ago, I know. And like I said, the Holy Spirit brought, to, brought it back to my remembrance. And I was like, I looked, I looked it up back then, but I, I didn't have no, no, no understanding. I didn't completely understand it like I do now. And so to take no prisoners is to kill it, to kill everything, to anything get in your way. I'm talking about, I'm talking about spiritually, y'all. I ain't talking about killing nobody physically, but I'm talking about spiritually. Take it down. Because if we don't, if we don't, the things that we are desiring God to do for us, we won't be able to achieve and get the things that we are in need of especially when it comes to spiritual things because y'all we got a invisible enemy that we're fighting and this invisible enemy can this war cannot be won with fleshly um 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 tools we 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 have to use the the, the word of god on the enemy and so we are to take no prisoners. We ain't, we ain't sparing nothing. No enemy. We ain't leaving no doors cracked for him. Because as I can look back on my life, I, and you see things happening, you know, you get a good little run, ain't nothing going on in your life. And then all of a sudden, here comes something. So it's either God allowed the enemy to attack us, or did we leave the door open? Did we give the enemy an opportunity to attack us 
Wh- wh- where are we missing it? Wh- what are what have I done? What have we done to allow the enemy in to attack us? And so, you know, being watchful and being prayerful, you know, uh, staying vigilant you know, when it comes to the things of, of God and 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 being careful not to leave no door open or open doors that don't need to be open not giving the devil no place and here in reading this um this this also came to me cuz I've read this story before but I I've read it over so many times tonight I said now Saul had been given a commandment to kill everything but he didn't he didn't kill everything. And so I, I used to wonder, what, why did God want everything killed concerning the Amalekites? And I believe it's because if you don't kill it, if we don't kill certain things in our lives, it's going to keep coming up. If we just leave a little bit out, you know, well, I'm going to keep this part right here, but I'm going to get rid of this right here. That thing going to keep showing up. And that could be that thing that keep this causing us to not get what we need to get when it comes to the things of God, because we got we got something blocking what needs to happen in our lives. Because the Lord say he he told him to to kill it all, kill everything, kill the kill the women, the children, kill all them animals. Don't say nothing, and that 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 uh, King Agag. He just knew he wasn't going to be killed. But but um, Samuel wasn't playing. Samuel, he had the heart of God, and he wanted to be pleasing in the sight of God. And, Lord, y'all, that's what I desire to do. And I pray that you desire, and I believe you do, desire to want to please God. But in order to please God, we got to do what the word of God says. He said, because obedience is better than sacrifice. And so, y'all, we we have to do we have to do it completely. Um, partial obedience is just might as well say is disobedience because we have to obey God and do what He said because see, God knows what's best for us. And you know, sometimes you know you're in a relationship. You could be in a relationship with a man or a woman. Or, or or you could be on your job and the Lord may say, uh, you know, I want you to uh count I want you to cut this uh cut this off. I I because if you don't, it, it can destroy you. And so I believe the the reason the Lord told um um what's his name, Saul. You know, he was told to destroy everything is because if when it, it come back up, it's going to destroy, it's going to destroy him. But he destroyed his own self because he was disobedient. He was prideful. You know, he, he wanted to please the people. He didn't want to please God. And so I, I, as I, I'm thinking about take no prisoners, I'm like, when I, I began to read read that what the man of God said to me. I wrote it down. I said, Lord, I had to repent. Lord, please forgive me. Forgive me for being disobedient. I can only speak for myself. Because who 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 life have I held up because I was disobedient? You know, I didn't do my part. So so I ain't I, I I said Lord I I don't want to uh, take no prisons I want to do it just like you said I'm kill it kill it all anything that's gonna s- slow me down because that's the job of the enemy y'all is to is to wear us down slow us down want, cause us to speak words that that don't mean nothing words that are vain words that are that are lifeless words that don't build us up and encourage us that's the work of the enemy and so we when we once when we realize that the enemy is his job is to destroy us and to cause us to 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 miss out on what God has for us when we recognize it y'all it's time 
It's just time to, to get right with God and, and stop. I'm speaking about myself, and I believe this will help somebody else because sometimes we can think we are right. We, we can think we are right when it comes to the things of God, but when God tell you to kill everything, I want you to get rid of it. Get rid of everything, that nasty attitude. Mm -hmm. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Whatever, whatever your thing is, we all know, we all know what could be holding us back from getting where we need to be in the Lord. And so when we confess our faults to God, he said he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Now, if you don't know what it is, you can always go to God because I'm quite sure he will tell you. He going to show you what you look like. If you want to know what, what's, what's slowing you down, uh, wh where you missing it at, we can go straight to the throne room of God. We can get the answer from him because he want to tell us anyway. Okay, y'all, I just wanted to share that tonight because um, it was an eye opener. That the Lord gave me, he he gave me that he gave me that um that prophecy that this man told me many years ago, and um I, I thank him for that because it's it's gonna help me in the long run, and I pray that it'll help you, you know, to get rid of everything, anything that's you know trying to keep you from going forward in the things of God, to hold you back, cause y'all. God, God want to do some great things in our lives. I, I know God want to heal many people. So many people need to be healed in, in, in every area of their lives, in their mental well-being, in their bodies, Lord. God want to heal. God want to heal his people. But, but, but it's something that's blocking. You know, you want, you, we, we, we be wondering, wh why, why I keep going through this? You know, it seems like you get a little break, and then here it come again. What is it? What door is open? What door am I opening? What door do I need to close? Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you so much, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that someone was encouraged uh, through this message. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, that you will uh, bless everybody spiritually in the name of Jesus, Lord, help us, God, to trust you and not to lean to our own understanding. But, Lord, help us to put our trust in you, God, knowing, God, that you can do anything but fail. And, Lord, I pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that your will be done for each and every one, Lord, who may listen to this video, Lord. I pray, God, that we will just surrender and allow you and allow the spirit of the living God to have his way in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.